evaluating information sources. So why bother evaluating your sources? It may seem like yet another thing to do, but it is important to the success of your research paper. Publishing and distributing information can be very easy. Many online publishing platforms are free and anonymous, so anyone with an internet connection can potentially share their ideas as widely as the internet reaches. And many people do so without being experts on their topics, or using editors, fact checkers, or other forms of quality control. Since there aren't always consequences for publishing incorrect information, content creators, particularly on the net, don't always feel obligated to double check their statements or to provide retractions if they discover errors in their work. So, when you find a source, it really is important to evaluate the author's expertise, the accuracy of the information presented, and the intended purpose of the work. Anyone can be an author. Some are journalists, who don't often have background education or experience on the topics they're assigned. Some are amateur enthusiasts or activists with an agenda, and some deliberately publish misinformation, such as you'll find on humor or fake news sites. An expert researcher's credentials and affiliations will be directly relevant to the topic. Take a moment to investigate. Are there degrees and work experience related to the subject? If your authors are academics, you can look them up in Google Scholar to see if they've published other work on the topic and if their work has been cited by other experts. If the author is a journalist, search on the newspaper or magazine site to see what else they've written. Do they have a specialized topic area or do they write on anything? Can you find details of their education or experience? If the author is a corporation or agency, be wary if the topic is outside its area of business. Don't assume that because a work has been published, it's also been checked for accuracy. Be skeptical if the author ignores other viewpoints, makes claims that aren't supported by data or other scholars. If the content is linked to the advertising, is outdated, has lots of grammar or spelling errors, or if the publisher doesn't usually publish academic work. Finally, consider the purpose of the work. Who's the intended audience? Is it fellow researchers, or is the work aimed at the general public? And why was the work published? To educate? To share new research among fellow experts in the field? Or was it written to entertain? To sell something? Or perhaps to whip up readers' emotions? All of this matters. So, before you rely on a source that looks good on the surface, take the time to make sure that its quality matches its first impressions. In this tutorial, we've taken a brief look at the importance of evaluating information sources. If you have any questions, call us, email, drop by, or chat with a librarian on the Provincial Askaway Chat Reference Service. To find our help options, go to the Help menu on the library homepage and click Ask a Librarian.